if there's one thing that's going to get me going other than plants, it's machinery and engines. And this little beauty is a 1955 Ferguson T20, regarded by most folks as the first modern tractor. Oh, I am a little Ferguson built so many years ago. 2016 marks the 70th anniversary of the Ferguson T20 tractor, otherwise known as the Little Grey Fergie. This one's a bit of brute force. <laughs> Is that what it needs? Whoops, bang my head. I'm helping T20 fanatic Martin Hewish get his beloved Little Grey Fergie ready for a celebration rally. Martin's family bought the tractor from a local farm in 1967. So how much did you pay for it? I got a receipt and then £2.10 shillings. Wow, look at wow. that. And what do you think the value of it today would be? £1,500. <laughs> That's a good buy. But it would never be sold because it'll stay in the family because it's my mother's tractor. It'll go down from the family until doomsday. The only problem is Martin's tractor won't start. No, she's not going to go. She did. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Yeah. Without sounding stupid, you have got some diesel in this. I'm a man, of course there's diesel in there. Right. There's not a lot of diesel in it, mind. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> right, right, so we've got fuel, we've got it's got to get through to the engine. engine. So First blockage, filter. filters, yeah. bleed it. As we crack on cleaning the filters and solving our fuel blockage... Is there muck in there? There's, there's a, a bit of muck in. Here's yeah. a bit more history. After World War II, something needed to be done to increase food production. So Irish engineer Harry Ferguson designed the T20 tractor. What makes the T20 so special is this unique hydraulic three-point linkage system. One, two, three. Ferguson designed all manner of machinery that attached to his linkage system, making farming easier and faster. It was genius, and modern tractors have used this three-point linkage system ever since. Yeah. Right, to get the air out, that's OK. It's just like a radiator, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's all. You see, what I like about engines is the simplicity of them. The basic four-stroke engine, you've got four cylinders, and fuel goes in, yeah. but it's, you know, sucked in, let's yeah. have some air, so, yeah. Yeah. compress it, yeah. bang, bang, with a spark plug, and yeah. shove it out. Yeah. You know, and these, you know, yeah. and that's it, and they keep going. And they do, and that's yeah. the basic four stroke it's engine just, hasn't yeah. changed. We're winning, that's it, go on, spit your heart out, lass. Right, we've cleared the fuel blockage, given her an oil change, and she's ready for action. Shall we give it a go? See if give she fires up. She goes. Go on. That's it. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. There we go! Now we can head off to nearby Ogmore Castle, where the rest of the South Wales Ferguson Club are gathered to celebrate 70 years of the Ferguson T20. Two dedicated members are Caroline and Julie. It's so nice to see female tractor fans here. Like, what yes. fascinates you about, you know, the T20? What is it? Oh, just such a lovely old tractor. Yes. Just yeah. classic. It's a classic one, isn't it, really? It's just it's the one. I had mine bought for me by my husband recently. That's okay. a gift. As and a I, gift? Yes, as a okay. gift. Ooh. I pinched mine off my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and what about this pink thing? <laughs> Get a little bit of extra padding. What could be better than the sound of a row of T20s all firing up? It's the simplicity of these little tractors that I love and it's a real thrill to drive one. Well, guys, it's been an absolutely fantastic day, so I'd like to propose a toast, and the toast is to the little grey Fergie, and I hope in 70 years' time she's still on the road and doing well. The little grey Fergie! The little grey Fergie!